Get the latest case sign on your iOS device with a working certificate and all new anti-revoke DNS without any revoke or even a computer, supported even on the latest iOS 26 developer beta. Let's start by visiting this website, link will be in description. Here you can find many working certificates, but currently there's a new certificate, EEO Education. But first download the anti-revoke DNS by WSF, tap on this button here, and it will take you to this website, and next, tap on Get Link. On the next page, tap on This is Skip option as shown. Now, stay on the page for 10 seconds only. And now, tap on Get Website, and finally tap on Open. Now, simply download the DNS into your iOS device by simply tapping on Allow option, and once the same is downloaded. Now, simply install the DNS by launching Settings and navigating to VPN and Device Management. Please do not ignore this step if you do not want to get blacklisted. Additionally, you can also select your preferred DNS from the list, and here UB stands for Update Blocker. Once the DNS setup is completed, let's go ahead and install KSign. Go back to this website and tap on this EEO Education, and then tap on Open. Finally, tap on Install when you get this pop-up. Let's go back, and as you can see that the KSign app is installed successfully. Now we need to trust the certificate by navigating to VPN and Device Management and simply trust the certificate. In latest iOS version, you will be required to restart the device. Let's launch KSign app and as you can see, it's working all fine. Now if we go to settings and navigate to certificates section, there is no certificate now. So let's download the certificates first, go back to the website and scroll down and here you will find the certificate option. Simply tap on it to download the same. The file will be in zip format, which will contain all the required certificates. Once downloaded, launch the files app and locate the downloaded certificate file. Now simply tap on the zip file to extract it, and inside the extracted folder, you will find the KSign certificates. But for this video, let's focus on this EEO education certificate. So let's go back to the KSign app and tap on this plus icon to import the certificate. On the next screen, select import K sign file. Now navigate and locate the KSign certificate, which we downloaded a while ago, and simply import it and you are all done. Now let's sign and install any IPA file. Navigate to the library section of KSign and tap on the plus icon and select import from files. Import any IPA of your choice for installing. In my case, I will install the MelonX app. Once imported, tap on it and select sign and install. And finally, tap on start signing. Now tap on install when you get this pop-up. Let's go back to the home screen. As you can see, it's not going past the waiting. No worries, just go back to KSign and wait for the payload which appears here to get completed and then go back and as you can see the app is installed successfully. Launching the app shows that it's working properly without any issues, but after installation KSign, keep these post installation tips in mind which it's also available on this website. Next up, if you want to try iOS 26 without waiting for public beta, watch my next video.